Hello, my people. I surprise you. I don't come again, but come again, or they kill us. Who? Now, progress with the user, the progress. Now, wow. See, this man will get Epis. Eli. The CEO. The man don't complain. Don't come out. They complain. What happened to him for him? He said LSC and the Imo State Governor. I don't know the people there. They frustrate the enemy. That's why he say. He won't help Nigerians when they Sudan. They return home. My people, no be my matter now here. I will leave her now. Make una listen to the guy the way they explain the tissue. Before una listen, make una share the video. Make the whole Nigeria see what they happen for Nigeria again. Like it, leave your comment for session, for the comment section so that Facebook will recommend it to all that people to see too. Don't forget say we have national act of this platform. Naebi Laba Brum Brum Laba. Watch it too. Naebi this NATO. You see, uh, we as Nigerians, we are overtly, overly stigmatized. We don't want to know the number of Nigerians in foreign jails. For nothing, the new for something they knew nothing about. A lot of Nigerians. Did. All you need to be condemned is to carry that green passport. All you need to become a villain is to be identified as a Nigerian. You are a suspect even before you are uh, judged. So this is the problem we are having. You can imagine Ethiopia. Well, they were to go through Ethiopia. Ethiopia blocked them. But Ethiopia is making a lot of money out of Nigeria. So everybody it is a stereotype. Nigerians are very good people. But unfortunately, we in Nigeria also we stigmatize ourselves. When we come back here, we remember that we are Yoruba, we are Usa, we are Fulani, we are a Joe, we are a Bibi, and all that kind of thing. We stereotype ourselves too. It happens down here. So nobody can love you more than yourself. Nigerians will, and this is the reason why I do some of these things. Not because I have money, I'm not richer than anybody, but I love this nation, I love this country. I want this country to be one because I believe in this nation. I believe that this country can be greater than it is. I believe that the 307 ethnic nationalities that made up Nigeria should be a source of strength for this country and not an abacus or a cost of a kind. If only we can get our eyes together and allow this diversity to become a source of strength. No country under the sun will be greater than this nation. This is my motivation for doing this kind of thing. So you can imagine how I felt this afternoon. You can imagine how I felt this afternoon. While I was out there in the war front trying to rescue Nigerians, the Nigerian Labour Congress and TUC went disrupting every AP flight across the country today. We are losing over 700 million Naira as a result of that. For somebody who has contributed so much to the nation, all we got paid for on a day like this, so insensitive of the LLC and the TUC, so insensitive of them, they chose today to disrupt our operations. Why? For something that does not even concern APs. That Governor Hopuzodima of Imo State disrupted their media activities. Therefore, no flight should go to Imo. And APs, they wrote us yesterday that we should not go to Imo. We have a contract with the passengers. Not NL NLC or TUC has no right whatsoever to instruct an airline not to obey the contractual relationship or obligations they have to their passengers. They don't have that right. And it is a shame to this nation that the security agencies we are watching while an airline that is out there doing all it can for the nation was being barged upon with some people wounded, making sure our operations were destabilized. Posting delays, massive delays and massive cancellations. Who is going to bear the brunt? And while the security agencies sat and watched, yet this same airline is out there in Egypt risking the lives of their, of their crew and expending hundreds of millions of naira on behalf of this country. They chose such a day. Something should happen because we are not going to let this go down. We, are, we must recover all we lost today. We must recover it. If something is not done, then this country is a joke. But what happened today? The airport vicinity is supposed to be sacrosanct. It's supposed to be a sacred place all over the world. You do not even shout in airports all over the world. They pick you up. Not to talk of a situation where people go into the tarmac, go into the apron to destabilize an airline. What if somebody throws a spanner into one of those engines? That is an air crash waiting to happen. And we continuously allow things like this to happen in this country. In the name of unionism. That's it's a before uh, air crash soon. That, that's, a, that's an important point you make there, and, and I hope the authorities are listening. And certainly I hope that given the things that you have done, which I believe are uniting this country rather than dividing it, and, and the charitable work that you do, I think that at the very least the, the Nigerian government should consider compensating you for the loss. But I want to thank you very much indeed, uh, Alan Unyema, for coming in, and again to commend you for the work that you're doing. Alan she I see some bad people for Nigeria, some bad politicians. Now, what did they do? Now, be that. They're not ashamed. My people, don't let thing you want to do for Nigeria to move forward now. Share this video. Like it. Leave your comment for the comment section so that Facebook will recommend it to many people to see. Now, the news of today.